Hello, listeners. My name is Tom O'Brien, and I'd like to ask you a question. What would you do if you were accused of stabbing a man to death over a simple game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Would you just give up, knowing that you didn't do it? Knowing that asshole James Krelson loves to use items when he plays and he just beat you with items and that skillless sack of shit deserved to die? Well, if you're anything like me, you'd make a podcast about the crime and an attempt to find the real killer. Which, by the way, isn't me. This is I Didn't Kill That Asshole, the new podcast from me, Tom O'Brien. This is episode 12, The Smoking Gun. It looks like after several months of investigations, we've got what we need to crack this case wide open and finally exonerate me for this murder. Before I bring out today's guest, I'd like to go back through some old clips to illustrate how hard this process has been for me. I don't know if you knew this, but convincing people you aren't a murderer can be quite difficult. There was Lucy Moran, who was at the house party where the murder took place. I saw you walk out of the room with a bloody knife. Lucy, as I said before, I picked up the knife because I was trying to cut some cake and I needed a knife. Your teeth were clenched. I was chewing on a really tough pot roast. Not to mention this important moment in the history of podcasts. My interview with that attractive prime suspect known as Tom O'Brien. Tom, I'm going to start with the most important question. And what's that, Tom? Did you kill that man, Tom? No, I didn't, Tom. And frankly, I'm offended you asked. Oh, well, I'm very sorry, Tom, but I must say that I'm impressed by your conviction. You're damn right, Tom. So, Tom, are you seeing anybody? And who could forget Dave Krelson, the victim's brother, who gave an emotional testimonial? So, after everything you've seen and heard, what do you think about this horrific crime? It it was you. You did it. How could you murder my brother? Why is there a show about this? How can you live with yourself? That's an interesting take, Dave. But now we can put the past behind us. This podcast is sponsored by Buck Knives. The most dependable knives on the market. They can cut through and stab into anything. Anything. Now that the bills are paid, today's guest has come forward with an actual audio recording of the crime as it took place. Apparently, someone at the house party butt-dialed him accidentally, and the whole crime is on voicemail. I'd like to welcome Stephen Seals to the studio. It's a pleasure to be here, Tom. Well, let's not bury the lead, Stephen. Let's go ahead and play that tape. Yeah, sure. How can you maim Luigi? Luigi? He's the cheapest one! He just does that little kick, 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 and I die every time! Dude, it's just a game. Yeah, it's just a game. Just a game. Don't talk to me about games. I've got a game for you right here. It's called Knife, and I'm about to get the high score. Tom, come on. Don't touch me, James. No one touches Tom O'Brien without consequences. Oh, my God, you're stabbing me, Tom O'Brien. Tom O'Brien, stop killing me right now. Tom O'Brien, no! Very interesting. Apparently, the killer goes by the name of Tom O'Brien. That's your name. That's also my name. Look, can you just say you did it already? Stop doing this podcast and just say you did it. You're only saying that because you haven't heard the Tom tape. The Tom tape? Yes. Here's a little preview. Hey, Mom, I just wanted to let you know that it's July 25th and it's around 10.30 p.m. and I am not at that house party. So if anything bad happens over there, I'm not responsible. Hello and welcome to Movie Phone. Press. And that's our show for today. This episode is three minutes long. Get out or I'll kill you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Until next time, crime fans, remember, I didn't do it. (laughs) But I'm glad he's dead. (laughs) Cough, cough.